because we get animals from all over the country and we have to keep the Jamhuri Park clean and that's why we have as well at the entry point a disinfection zone where vehicles and even animals and uh, showgoers uh, dip their feet, vehicles, their wheels, so that we keep the diseases out of the showground. There is a funny, st funny story about quarantine. Um, long time ago, w w when there was a f an outbreak of a contagious disease in a certain part of central Kenya, the then ruler imposed a quarantine and on that boma where the disease was identified. But uh, the local people could not really say the word quarantine and they called it Karatina. And even up to now, it is still called Karatina. This is just for your, for your history, yeah? Um, so the quarantine area is now these days very common to people. They know what it means. We have, apart from the judging, we have also farm produce in our exhibition. And if you go from coast to the highest point in Kenya, you know coast is tropical temperature, tropical climate. Up in the highlands we have temperate climate. So if you travel from coast to the highest point which I think is somewhere in Timbaroa, you will find all the tropical farm produce, fruits, vegetables. And when you reach the highest point you will find all the temperate crops. And you will find them here in the farm and dairy section on display. Another competition for the farmers. At the same time, this is to educate as well the Kenyan visitors to show them all those crops. Sometimes when I get a visitor from Western Europe, they are amazed when they see all the crop here. They never see in their home country, like tea, coffee, one time I had a visitor and she told me, do pineapples grow underground like potatoes? I said, no, I'll show you. So I drove to Thika, went into the Del Monte plantations, drove for miles until we found the real pineapple above the ground and they were really surprised. not only applies to visitors, even to our people here. It is very good to come to the Nairobi International Trade Fair and visit the livestock sector or section and see all the animals we are bringing, all the animals we have 
all the animals farmers keep at the same time learn about all the products uh, our farmers produce. We should always realize that our farmers are having a very important task of feeding the nation. Many, many people, they don't appreciate farming or farmers because they say it's a dirty work. But I have always been telling farmers, your job is one of the most important jobs there is in this country. And I think agriculture is employing, is, is a major employer in Kenya. Once the judging has been done, they, they have entered the uh, produce or animals according to the, the rules and the regulations. Um, they get a cash award, they get the farmers get a certificate so that when they go home, they can show their people what they have been doing when they were out of their farm. Um, and I think it is very important that we keep on educating everybody who comes to the trade fair in a few weeks' time so that we can show them how good farming is and how much we enjoy eating all those fruits and vegetables and whatever we are seen in this show. I like to thank our farmers who are as, as well exhibitors who are seated uh, seated somewhere and maybe they c could just stand and say jumbo to these are our exhibitors for farm and dairy and livestock. Without those farmers, we would not have a show. We would not have entries. Thank you very much for coming. And we hope to be together in September at the NITF Livestock and Farm and Dairy section. I think it's now... I hope that I have explained to you now what it's all about and that uh, maybe now after those few words I could say that with those few remarks I am launching the 2023 schedule of classes for livestock, farm, produce and uh, rabbits. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Turi. Um, with all due respect, I would like to add, ask our guests to join him as they launch the schedule of classes. Karibuni. This is <coughs> this is the information. This is the information booklet, which we call schedule of classes for livestock, farm produce, and rabbits. I hope you will go through it, and you, it will increase your understanding of what we are doing. And if you look in the section. Um, 
farm produce and rabbits, you will see all the fruits we grow in Canaan. Because I feel, the, the way I look, as I was saying, from coast to the highest point, we find everything we would have found in Canaan as well. And even where I live, myself, that little village is called Canaan. I think you know, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Our guests now can take their seats. Kovi wakiendelea kuketi. Asante sana. Asante. Asante. And now we'll have a presentation of exhibitor information by the trade chairman. Karibu bwana chairman trade. Thank you very much. All protocols observed. Once again, good afternoon and welcome to the SK Showground. I'll just give, begin by giving you a background on what we're doing and how to, we're going to go along the show. The Akaja Society of Kenya, the Nairobi International Trade Fair, Exhibitors Forum, 1st September 2023. On the next slide, Just to give a big, as I said, a background of what the AST, ASK and NH, NITF is, is that Culture Society of Kenya, ASK, was founded in 1901 at, at the headquarters of Agricultural and Horticultural Society, AHS. AHS that rebranded to, was rebranded to Agriculture Society of Kenya uh, in 1964. ASK has 17 branches across the country. The show held by the Nairobi branch of the society became the Nairobi International Trade Fair in 2002. An event is held on an annual basis. The theme of this year's show is promoting climate, smart agriculture, and trade initiatives for sustainable economic growth. Moving on, we have a program that runs throughout the show. On Sunday, we'll begin with the Harvest Festival, which was a Thanksgiving service at Old Saints Cathedral. And our guest, who is expected, is the GCECM, Green Nairobi County. On Monday, the 25th of September, 2023, it will be the business day, judging day and we begin at 10 a.m. all the way to 4 p.m. Livestock workshops will also be held between 9.30 to 4.30 p.m. The guest of the day will be the Cabinet Secretary of Trade, Honorable Moses Korea. On Tuesday, the 26th of September, we'll have the Livestock Day which and a trade workshop. The guest of the day 
with the governor of the Nairobi County, Honorable Joseph Sa Johnson Sakaja. On Wednesday, the 27th of September, will be the official opening day. The guest of the day is His Excellency, the President, Honorable Dr. William Ruto. On Thursday, 28th September, it will be the ASK Members and Life Governors Day. The trade, farm, and dairy workshops will be held on that day from 9.30 to 4.30 p.m. The guest of the day will be the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Honro Musalia Mudavadi. On 29th September, we'll have the School Parties Day. The guest of the day is His Excellency, the Deputy President, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa. On Saturday, the 30th of September and the 1st of October will be family days. Saturday guest will be the CEO of Athi Water, Engineer Michael Twitter, and the International Interdominational Church Service will be held from 9 a.m. And the guests on Sunday will be the chairman of the ISK Nairobi, Joseph Mogo. The Harvest Festival is indeed a very exciting time where on Sunday we proceed with a procession and we observe the day by having a Thanksgiving ser service. This year, the Harvest Festival will be held at the ACK All Saints Cathedral on the 17th of September, 2023 at 10 a.m. There will be a procession in town before the service and you are indeed all welcome. All contributions and donations receiving from this occasion will be distributed to the underprivileged, to the members of our community as part of our corporate uh, responsibility program and the beneficiaries, beneficiaries of this year's Harvest Festival are children from the homes within Nairobi County. These homes include St. Teresa's Children's Home, Puhape Tumaini, St. Nicholas Children's Home, Treehouse, Kabete Children's Home, and Matumi, 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 Matumaini Children's Home. The benefits for exhibitors when you come to the show what do you want to get, what do you want to receive? The following are additional benefits that we normally get. We get local and national markets we're able to expose in terms of getting knowledge. We have got business networks and partnerships to improve our businesses. We would brand visibility and advertising to make sure we're visible to the societies or where we want to do business. We have got direct customer leads, the walk-ins and people who come to just see what you're doing within your stands. We have partnerships. You build partnerships and networks where you want to progress. We have investment opportunities where you can build your business or you can expand your network or you can expand the ex the, your business uh, portfolios. We have got, imp you can improve your customer relationships where your customers can interact with you in an informal se sector. We have sales bazaars where you can actually buy different goods and service wherever you are within the show. We have direct access to the national and county government services, which are in government. You can actually access them from here. We have education and learning. And, and above, one of the good things also, we have, have some kind of entertainment. We also have entertainment you can benefit from the coming to show. Some of the countries we expect this year to participate include Rwanda within the East African region, Uganda. We, exp we anticipate France. Japan, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Iran, India, Turkey, Israel, Zimbabwe, Qatar, Pakistan, Netherlands, and even South Africa. These are among the ones we're expecting to participate. We've been having engagements with them. So I'm sure once we have finalized those engagements, you'll have a benefit of having different countries where we can actually ex have some kind of also some knowledge exchange. Now to participate, there are charges. For the international exhibitors, which is the Jamuri Expo, which is here, where we are sitting here, a three meter by three meter booth is US dollars 2000, which gives you a table, two chairs, three light, sp light spots, as you can see behind you, so th some of the, how they look like, an output, a carpet, and a waste basket. So it's something similar to the back there. The International Pavilion, which is a triangular base, which uh, also a three by three booth, is uh, US dollars 750, and you get a table, two chairs, 
three sports which have light, a uh, board, electric output where you can use electronics, a carpet, a waste basket to make sure your station is clean. Local exhibitors, you have a permanent, have a permanent stand and which are dependent on size and location within the showground, varies with the space and size on the pricing, and you, are, you come with your own provisions. Again, the local exhibitors of the Central Business District, which is somewhere along the line, a 10 by 10 feet is 115,000 shillings. Uh, we don't give provisions. A 15 by 15 is 202,500. A 50 by 50 feet is 327,500. 75 by 75 feet is 390,000. And a 90 by 90 feet is a 452,000 shillings. Of the central business district, a 10 by 10 feet is 85,000 shillings. A 15 by 15, 165,000 shillings. A 25 by 25, 215,000. 50 by 50, 260. Uh, 65,000 and 75 by 75, 315, and 90 by 90, 365. So you have a, a range of choosing what your requirements are and what you desire and what fits you best. So that's what we have on the sides and locations. Now, of course, you'll require electricity to maybe to power what you're going to be exhibiting, and there are charges for that. For the stand, it's a small one, single face is 2,600 shillings, and a daily charge of 500. And a medium single face is 7,200 and 1,700 per day. And the large one is 10,000 shillings and 2,500 per day. All these payments are paid to Electricity House, uh, or the KPLC stand, and the pay bill is here as recorded for the ones who want to write it now, is 8888. Nine nine, or account number uh, nine uh, N two triple one twenty twenty three zero eight triple zero one. So if you want to write, you can also do that. And the person who is a contact person is Mr. Edwin Nyagechi, and his number is there oh seven two three nine four two eight nine five. So you can get those details for the benefit of yourselves on the different stands or what you're going to choose of your requirement. Now, water conservancy. Exhibitors are advised to install at least 5,000 liters of water storage tank, which will be very useful for you. We also have exhibitors who are doing major construction works and watering of their gardens before the event will receive further invoices for the water consumptions and the date of connection to the first day of the show. The exhibitor is not allowed to carry out any excavation works without the society's approval. So I think this is very clear. We need to make sure our sectors are organized and water is a very key thing at the show, in the show. Sometimes we have their shortages, so we used to use it in a wise way. And this is basically to safeguard without tempering operations of power and sewer, sewer lines, internet, and water supply. So it's very important that we observe this so we have an unorganized uh, show this year. Now, on our stands, you know, we have to prepare them. Some of them, we have to renovate them. You've seen we're coming towards the show. Many of our stands are being redone now, which is a good thing. And the deadline for preparation is usually 10 days before the start of the trade fair. All exhibitors should be in place two days before the start of the event, and all exhibitors should have finished preparing their stands by February 22nd September, Friday 22nd September 2023. So by Friday 22nd, the show should be something that is a, a dry run, and everything we're looking at the showground is what our guests, students, and business partners will come and see. We will not be liable for any loss, damage, or safety of any exhibitors or other form of property under the circum any circumstances whatsoever. So it's also your responsibility to keep the things or the exhibition exhibitors' things that you're coming with safely so you don't lose them. And it's also very important that you observe those protocols. 
Now, we have a trade fair to, a catalog which can also improve the marketing and visibility of your business or your organization. And the Shota catalog is a magazine with exhibitor profiles and all information relating, relating to the trade fair. It also serves as a value add channel of communication and it presents opportunities for increased visibility for stakeholders. This catalog has a cost, of course, for exhibitors who are going to visit the show. And these rates of advertising the trade fair catalog are as follows. On the front, inside cover is 80,000. Full page, 70,000. Uh, center spread, center page spread is 140,000. Half a page is 50,000. A quarter page is 30,000. Back inside cover is 75,000. And back page is 80,000. And the long and a logo insert. If you want to insert your logo of your organization, you can actually pay six thousand shillings. Now, branding, mm -hmm. trade fair branding. We encourage exhibitors to advertise in different strategic uh, areas within uh, the premises of the showground to enhance their publicity and, wh and where they can offer their, se their services. These areas are available and applicable. Include where and applicable include the gates the arena shades, the arena fence, and the pavilions. So you can take advantage of that by putting the visibility of your organization or your company there. Those who are interested in advertising in their for sale areas are requested to last with the trade and marketing office. This should be done by the 15th of September, 2023. Outdoor advertising in areas mentioned above is highly recommended as it reaches the or as many as the goers of the show and other exhibitors should be done. Okay, next slide. Now we have an arena program. The arena center of, is a center of entertainment and attracts a large number of show visitors throughout the seven days. The arena program is available to keep, for you to keep uh, being informed of what's happening within the show an entertainment schedule. Company or business can also enjoy publicity by taking up advertising space in the program and other information booklets during the show at a cost of 50,000 shillings. Now security. Security is a very big thing for the society and we make, want to make sure that everybody who comes to the show is safe. Our commodities are safe and when we leave here, we are all happy. So the Jam Jamuri Park Police Station is located in Kayata Avenue, which is somewhere around the road here. Uh, and we make our own security arrangements for our stands, supplement security provided by the police and the society. So we have policemen who will be here, will be walking around to make sure we're safe. We also employ unif and uniformed security guards who, who uh, through identification, will be able to know them. Uh, we also vet casual employees before engagement. And, be co and we also ask you to be cautious of activities of your surrounding areas. So you, you also must help us to help you in terms of security. And also we must also be very watchful within the stalls of your areas of exhibition. Now the security guidelines. Contractors and agent, other agents would be required to obtain a movement pass from the Agriculture Society of Security Office at all times. So you need to have you and your engage agents a security pass for you to have free movement everywhere. We need also to make sure you're able to you report any suspicious activity with, to the Jamori police or security pers personnel through the Nairobi International Trade Office, which is very important that make sure that we're all safe here. We must make sure that we engage the security agents. Now, enter tickets. We charge to enter, and to enter, the exhibitors are required to purchase entry tickets and passes in good time. Tickets can be purchased from the gates through cash or m -Pesa, or purchased online, which we encourage as well, or our website, which is there, www.ask.ca.ke. Now, added uh, perimeter, di uh, perimeter di daily di tickets cost 300 shillings, while children is 250 shillings. And adults' uh, special party tickets are 250, 
while a child special party ticket is 200 shillings. This comprises of groups for of more than 10 people. Commentary tickets normally lim limited and be issued in terms of complementaries. Now, membership. You can also be a member of the society. And membership badges are also available for purchase at our office, the Kenyatta National Archives area, Uduma Center, GPO in town. These are also available in, in sites from 1st September up to the start of the trade fair. And the categories are as follows. Executive with a guest is 8,500. Full member and a guest is 3,000. Single member, 2,000. KPO member and guest, 3,000. KPO single, 2,000. And Young Farmers, 400. And KDF badge of 800. So that's a category of membership. And we encourage you to get one for you to enjoy free movement in the show. Our operating time will be the gates will open at 6 a.m. and they'll close at 6 p.m. Sanitation of common areas will be done before, daily before 8 a.m. and the trade rent payment deadline is 22nd September 2023. Now, our car parks, which are located in different areas, there is a which is situated at the Car Bazaar area. There's a paid, which is public, which is the Polo Club, which is the gardens where parking is charged. And then there's members situated opposite the gate C. And the VIP and other dignitaries issued the D ticket within the showground. Traffic regulations, very important. The traffic will be, uh, the traffic police will be in hand to control traffic coming in and going out of the showground. It is prohibited to drive within the showground except for essential service providers and essential stickers who, who have those stickers who render essential services like ambulances, exhausters, emergency Kenya power, and security vehicles. Essential services stickers holders must, be, must observe a mini, maximum speed of five kilometers per hour within the showground due to the heavy human traffic. Authority to purchase tickets uh, must be obtained. So you must get authority to get those tickets to move within the showground. Insurance is a critical thing. So we ad encourage insurance cover against fire, theft, or public liability, or even the staff working within those stands during the show period. We also advise exhibitors to read and sign and comply with the show regulations of society as well as those of the county and other relevant regulatory agencies. The regulations can be accessed from the society website or from the office. Exhibitors are advised to safe, for safety of their stance and to make provisions for firefighting equipment such as extinguishers. So it's very key that you also make sure you are able to make your place operational. To fly the national flag within your stands, you must get permission from the office of the president. So it's something that you have to get permission for to fly the flag there. Health uh, is a very important thing. So exhibitors wishing to dispense of food or drinks at their stand must obtain clearance from the public health officer and submit the copy to the Agriculture Society of Kenya or to Nairobi International Trade Fair catering officer who is here, is here today. All exhibitors are required to have necessary documents, that is licenses for, uh, for business permits, and be compliant with the required documents issued by the national county government agencies. So those documentations are important when doing the, the food. All livestock must go through Kibera Gate for health checks by the veterinary officers. Only normal, healthy animals will be allowed into the showground upon vetting. Livestock entry forms can be downloaded at the ASK website in the schedule of classes section. 
must dispose of garbage. So all exhibitors are advised to have at least two liter bins, one inside the stand and the other outside. The garbage collected in the bins should be placed outside the stands in the evening for ease of collection if possible waste be sp uh, separated, e.g. solid, plastic, and bio-waste. Noise. You now we must make an orderly, uh, enjoyable trade fair. So playing of music during the trade fair period is strictly prohibited. Exhibitors are required to comply with NEMA, Music Corporate Society of Kenya regulations. Music here refers to the road shows, the live bands, the noisy promotions within the show, and operators who will not adhere to this regulation will have the equipment confiscated by the show security without notice. Change within what you are saying you're going to do within the show from a sale of clothes to food is strictly prohibited. This will lead to automatic cancellation of the exhibitor's participation in the trade fair. Exhibitors should identify areas of opportunity and share the marketing and publicity committee for mention from time to time. Judging is a big thing that we want to see uh, our stands nicely put together so there will be judging. This will be conducted for the best exhibitor in each class entry. The process is managed by the chief judge and judging will take place on the 25th of September, and that's on the first day, so make sure your, sh your stands are well put and placed well. And it'll start at 8 a.m., and, and the results will be announced in the evening at the Pavilion Hall. Entries should be submitted by 22nd September. Late entries will not be registered, and judging briefing of, for exhibitors will be held on the 23rd of September at 2 p.m. at the Pavilion Hall. There are 46 classes. Exhibitors are required to enter for the correct class and conform or confirm the entry within that day of the 23rd of September. The criteria for judging must be to have the correct class, demonstration of class achievement, and relevance of the exhibitor to the theme, which I mentioned earlier, presentation of skills of staff, proper branding of staff, presentation of the stand and coordination of human traffic within the stand. The society has rolled out a digital ex exhibitor judging system, Onyesho. Thus, the judging process will be paperless. Judges will use this application to, to their smartphones and the results of judging will be accessible through a public portal whose link will be shared as well as the ASK Android application. Automating judging is aimed at enhancing efficiency as well as providing a standardized and objective method of evaluating exhibitor performance. Petitions on judging should be made in writing uh, to the chief judge through the trade office and a copy sent to the chief executive officer with their catch certificate. Judges are selected through a professional and transparent process. So that's very important to make sure your stands are good so you can participate within those categories that we've been mentioned, those 46 categories, so you can actually succeed. Clearance from the showground will be done on Monday, the 2nd of October at 9 a.m. Only exhibitors that have paid full participation fee will be cleared. So make sure we interact in a business manner, and we enjoy the show. So for any clarification you may require, you can uh, contact the office or you can go into the web, trade, uh, web website or the telephone numbers on the screen, which you can see them right there. You can take them down to make it easier for you and also look at the website. I think that's uh, how the flow of the show will be this year. And I wish you all the best, and I welcome you, and make sure you also tell your clients, your business partners to also come to the show. Thank you very much and once again good afternoon. Asante sana tumpigie ni makofi ya kutosha. Thank you chairman uh trend.
wetu wa heshima katika hafla ya leo bwana Ronald Meru ambaye ni mwenyekiti wa baraza la biashara na viwanda la Kenya ninasema hivi kwa Kiswahili kwa sababu umesikia Kiingereza sana kwa hivyo sasa uh, tuweke uh, Kiswahili kidogo vile vile tuna uh, mwenyekiti wa kitaifa wa shirika la kilimo la Kenya ambaye amewakilishwa na daktari Migwi pia ni mtambue uh, afisa mkuu mtekelezi wa shirika la kilimo nchini Kenya bwana Batram Mudoka vile vile ni mtambue mwenyekiti wa tawi la shirika la kilimo na Nairobi bwana Joseph Mogo na vile vile ni mtambue Levi Mkwezi ambaye ni mkandamu wa shirika hili katika tawi la Nairobi na vile vile ni mtambue meneja ambaye ametuwakilisha na kututendea hafla hii Betrotich katika tawi la Nairobi na vile vile ni watambue wanachama na wenyekiti wa kamati za maandalizi mbalimbali ambao pia mlitambulishwa kwao na ni watambue vile vile waonyeshaji waheshimiwa ambao mmekuwa nasi leo na vile vile kuna wale ambao wako kwenye mtandao tunawatambua tuna wageni waalikwa mbalimbali vile vile tuna wakulima ambao wametutembelea kutoka Kinangop na vile vile tutambue wale ambao wanashiriki nasi kama jamii Telkom nitaendelea kuwatambua kama kandi tunavyoendelea maswali yatakuwa baadaye ya kile ambacho kimwasilishwa kwa hivyo naomba mtulie i urge you to be patient for those who don't understand this french so wait a bit and you will get to have your answers uh, uh, given to you kwa hivyo kwa taadhima na idhini ya mwenyekiti wa kamati andalizi ya tawi la Nairobi na wakalibisha nyote na hivi sasa nachukua nafasi hii kumwalika mwenyekiti wa tawi la Nairobi bwana Joseph Mugo ambaye ameweza kabisa na ndiye ametualika anje sasa hapa atoe hotuba yake na kisha amwalike a uh, na vikiria uh, ni amwalike afisa mkuu mtendaji ili aweze kutualikia wageni wengine na mwalika bwana Joseph Mugo you most welcome tumegia ni makofi yakiingia asante sana Vice Chairman, the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Nairobi Chapter, Dr. Faminas Megwe, ASK Nakuru Brand Chairman, herein representing the Society National Chairperson, Chief Executive Officer of the Agricultural Society of Kenya, Mr. Patram Mudoka, Chairpersons of various shoe committees, Council members and branch members, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Agricultural Society of Kenya, Nairobi branch, it gives me great pleasure to extend to you all a very warm welcome to the 2023 Exhibitors Forum. This year's Nairobi International Trade Fair is scheduled from September the 25th to October the 1st, under the theme Promoting Climate Smart Agriculture and Trade Initiatives for Sustainable Economic Growth. This theme underscores the efforts of the industry experts to mitigate the impact of climate change. Nairobi International Trade Fair holds a pivotal place in the Kenyan economic landscape. It serves as a dynamic catalyst for economic progress by fostering investment opportunities, promoting trade cooperations, and showing 
the nation's progress across diverse sectors. This brings people, participants together from various industries, encompassing agriculture, trade, manufacturing, technology, services, and finance, among others. The collaborative initiative, in initiatives by the varied sectors not only propel economic advancement, but also promotes adoption of innovation and technologies with the contributing, while contributing to the revenue generated, the generation and employment opportunities. So, over the years, the trade fair has continuously expanded its reach. This year, we are proud to announce that we have 250 confirmations with anticipated target of 500 local and international exhibitors. Throughout this year, we have undertaken meticulous initiatives to, in anticipation of this event. These endeavors include consultative dialogues with the stakeholders from both public and the private sector. Our focus in these interactions has been to rejuvenate the exhibition experience, witnessing the creativity, skill, and talents of both local and international participants. Additionally, we have invested in infrastructural upgrades, elevate the operational standards of the trade fair. Sir, so, the 2023 trade fair promises to be a vibrant spectacle. The trade fair program will kick off with the charging of exhibition starts on, the, on Monday, the 25th of September, designated as business day. The week will then progress as follows. Livestock day, official opening day, members day, deputy patrons day, and the family day in that order. We have invited the society's patron, His Excellency the President, to officially open the trade fair on Wednesday, the 27th of September. Ladies and gentlemen, we believe that our continued collaboration with, will deliver top-notch innovations and technologies that will not only reshape industries and services, but also enhance the livelihood of our visitors, stakeholders, and fellow Kenyans. Much dedication, contemplation, and the relentless efforts have been poured into ensuring the success of this event. We are deeply appreciative of the collective commitment exhibited by all committees, including the co-opted members, as well as the staff. Our gratitude also extends to the unwavering support of the Society National Office under the leadership of the National Chairperson, Mrs. Annabel Krenya, and the Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Bart Oka. As I conclude, I wish to express our heartfelt appreciation to you, our valued exhibitors, for choosing us as your preferred exhibition partner. We extend our best wishes for your remaining for for your remaining preparations and uh, look forward to welcoming each of you to the 2023 International Trade Fair. Sir, it is now my humble duty to call upon Dr. Pamina Smigwe, ASK Nakuru branch, chairman herein representing the Society National Chairperson to carry forward the program. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <coughs> uh, 
Our chief guest today, Bwana Lena Di Melo, who is the vice chairman of the National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, my colleague, Bwana Jose Umboko, the chair of Nairobi International Trade Fair, the ASK fraternity here led by Bertram Mudoka, the Nairobi ASK team who are hosting this event, and our esteemed exhibitors, Hamujabo. Kama mmesikia jina langu ni Paminas Megwe, mimi ni chairman wa Nakuru uh, National Agricultural Show. We just held our National Agricultural Show recently last month, uh, actually in July 12th to 16th, and I can see that a significant number of uh, exhibitors who are here also participated in that show. So we are really very, very grateful because of the exhibitors uh, who have honored this occasion to come here. And I'm also honored that he, in this uh, important show, I also participate once in a while as a judge in the livestock section. I can see my colleagues there, Bona Morioki, uh, who normally we work with uh, during that time. So uh, I'm really humbled to be here at this occasion to represent the national chair. I was informing the CEO a short while ago with the uh, the chairman Nairobi International Trade Fair that my interest in the ASK show started here because sometimes back in 1969 as a very young person, very young boy, I came with my father here, Ted Nairobi International Show as my first show. I was just a, a young man, a young boy in the rural primary. My father took me all the way from Kirinyaga a candidate a hapa, nani kahuduria maunjeto ya kilimu the first time. If I count the years, that is exactly 54 years ago. So that he generated my interest and it has grown to an extent I have come to even represent a very, very, very important branch of the ASK. One of the 17 branches uh, Mr. Mugo has mentioned because the ASK is a wide network of 17 show. So I'm really humbled to be among those chairmen of the 17 branches uh, of the ASK representing the Nakuru uh, branch, which is one of the, uh, the 17 branches. So uh, I have come here to present the chair, and I'm really humbled to present her speech because she was not able to come here today. <coughs> uh, our guest of honor today, Mr. Ronda D. Melo, the vice chairman of the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, uh, Nairobi chapter, the, our esteemed exhibitors who are here, our valued stakeholders and partners who are also invited in this occasion, the ASK Nairobi branch chairman, Mr. Joseph Mogo, the ASK chief executive, Mr. Batra Modoka, who is here with us, the Nairobi branch members of the in Nairobi International Trade Fair who are here, uh, led by Bonamoridi here, and the others, ladies and gentlemen. It is with immense pressure and honor that I come, that I will welcome you to the 2023 Nairobi International Trade Fair Exhibitors Forum. We are honored to have you as our chief guest today and for accepting to grace this important forum. To all our dedicated exhibitors, stakeholders, and our partners present here today, we wish to express our heartfelt appreciation of your unwavering support and commitment to the Nairobi International Trade Fair. Your contribution are a pivotal, are a pivotal as we prepare this year's trade fair, which is scheduled to take place from Monday 25th September to Sunday 1st of October. Sir, this forum uh, plays a, a vital role in helping the agricultural society of, of Kenya forge and strengthen partnership and collaboration with the key, key stakeholders. It also provides with the opportunity to familiarize ourselves with the laws and regulations governing the trademark, the trade fair, uh, this the trade fair week. And I'm sure that is what uh, the trade chair, Mr. Odiambo, has taken quite significant some time explain these rules so that we can be familiar with our requirements as exhibitors 
so that they come to during the show time, we can be able to carry out our exhibition without any hindrance. Under the theme, Promoting Climate Smart Agriculture and Trade Initiative for Sustainable Economic Growth, we underscore the importance of embracing innovative and sustainable approaches within the realms of agriculture and trade. Our commitment to these strategies is essential, not only for driving economic growth, but also for mitigating the effects of the climate change on our environment. Bona Chairman, uh, <coughs> the unity of purpose demonstrated by the agricultural and business communities in Kenya is truly inspiring. Our collaboration with the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry is a testament, the te <coughs> testament of the strength of this partnership, sir, your presence here today symbolizes the synergies between our entities and we commend the Chamber Chamber's effort in fostering uh, trade within and beyond the borders, as well as promoting and coordinating, uh, safeguarding the commerce, the commercial and industrial interest of the Kenyan people, among other crucial functions. To our exhibitors who are here today, you are, life, you are, you are a lifeblood to the trade fair, we encourage you to seize this to seize this opportunity to network, learn, and explore the potential collaborations. The trade <coughs> the tr potential collaboration. The trade fair is much more than just a platform for showcasing your product and services. It is a dynamic space where connections are forged, uh, capable of uh, propelling the growth of your business. Together, we possess the potential to reach unprecedented heights in promoting the trade and sustainable agriculture, not only within Kenya, but also beyond the borders. Sir, we, as we prepare for the Nairobi International Trade Fair, let us not forget that our success hinges on our environment to the theme of climate smart agriculture and sustainable economic growth. This, comment, this commitment calls upon to embrace technology, preserve, preserve our environment, and advocate responsible business practices. As I conclude, I would like to extend our deepest gratitude once again to all the stakeholders, exhibitors, and partners for your unwavering support. Together, we will ensure that the 2023 Nairobi International Trade Fair becomes a resounding success and a milestone in our journey towards the more sustainable and prosperous future. Thank you, and we look forward to a fruitful deliberation during this forum. It is now my pleasure to welcome our chief guest, Mr. Rondon Melo, to come and be able to make his uh, keynote address to this important congregation. Asanten Sana. The CEO, ASK, Bonabata Modoka, uh, the chairman of the Nairobi uh, International Trade Fair, Joseph Mugo, the leadership of the ASK, captains of industry, distinguished exhibitors, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Hamujambo, Hamujambo Tena. Uh, it's a warm welcome to everyone gathered here today at the Nairobi Trade Fair Exhibitors Forum. I extend my deepest gratitude to the Agricultural Society of Kenya for organizing this distinguished event and for the honor of representing the Kenya National Chamber of, in, uh, of the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Before I proceed, allow me to take this opportunity to introduce myself and the leadership team from the chamber and the staff who are here with us today. So first, my name is Ronald Meru, as you heard. 
I am the Vice Chairman of the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, uh, Nairobi Chapter. I also bring greetings from our Chamber President, Dr. Eric Ruto, and also our Chairman from Nairobi, Dr. James Maura. As you all know, the Chamber is also devolved, so we have 47 chapters, and as you can see today, I am representing the capital city, and that is where we are domiciled. So with me today, I also have my director, and I'll ask him to stand. This is Mr. Charles Gitau. Let us appreciate him. So Mr. Gitau is our director in charge of sponsorships and also anything to do with sports. I believe there are some other directors who are to join, but I think they might not have made it by now. But also, we were very honored to have our secretariat to join us. So at this point, let me ask Catherine Wairimo to be upstanding. She's in charge of, she's our program manager at Nairobi chapter. Let's appreciate her. We also have Mr. Inboro, who is our manager for PR and communications. Asante sana for being here. So our chapter, the Nairobi chapter, is honored to have the Af Agricultural Society of Kenya as a new member of our vibrant community. So let's appreciate the Association of so Agricultural Society of Kenya for joining the Ch Chamber of Commerce. And with that, we extend our wholehearted support to your endeavors, including this remarkable trade fair. With this partnership, we are set to create a synergy that leverages the strength of both organizations to drive innovation and growth. The Nairobi International Trade Fair not only displays the significance of agriculture in our nation, but also stands as a beacon of opportunity, collaboration, and progress. As we all recognize, agriculture is a bedrock of Kenya's economy, supporting millions of households from dedicated small-scale farmers in our rural areas to towering agricultural business agribusiness giants making waves on the global stage. This event marks a powerful convergence of industries, ideas, and innovation all aimed at fostering sustainable economic growth and promoting climate smart agriculture. The Nairobi International Trade Fair with its theme this year, promoting climate smart agriculture and trade initiatives for sustainable economic growth, mirrors the ethos both our organizations, both of our organizations, it embodies sustainable practice, economic growth, and collaboration. The Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Nairobi chapter, in its capacity is dedicated to supporting our members in their journey to success, be it through networking, accessing knowledge, or opportunities for growth. At the heart of our mission lies the recognition of the pivotal role that the small and medium enterprises, SMEs, play in our economy. We understand that SMEs are not just the building blocks of our business landscape, but also the engines of innovation and progress. As the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, we are committed to empower SMEs, providing them with the resources, insights, platforms that they need to thrive. It is important to emphasize that the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce wavering an unwavering commitment to the agricultural sector. We recognize its pivotal role in our economy and are dedicated to support its growth. This is evident by our various initiatives aimed at fostering agricultural entrepreneurship, facilitating access to finance, providing training, building networks that encourage both local and international collaboration. We aspire to bridge, to be the bridge that links farmers I'm happy to see the representation of the farmers. We are happy you're here. The producers, 
and the merchants, ensuring a seamless transition from farm to market and beyond. To the, to the entrepreneurs and businesses representatives represented here today, my, my request to you, grasp this unparalleled, unparalleled opportunity. Form new alliances, immerse yourselves in cutting edge advancements, and partake in dialogues that can revolutionize your enterprises. And subsequently uplift our national economy, which is what our president of the country has been pushing in his agenda. Moreover, I cannot stress enough the paramount importance of technology and innovation in today's agricultural landscape. At this point, I also want to acknowledge the efforts by your chair of trade. I'm very impressed to see that you've also taken ICT in terms of judging of the winners and we will not have any issues of opening servers because you've done a very transparent process. So let's appreciate the team. So in terms of technology, let us uh, keep moving in that uh, uh, motion that you're working with today. And in an ever evolving world, we must be nimble and ready to incorporate modern tools and methods to supercharge our agricultural productivity. This calls for a shared vision that amalgamates tradition with innovation, ensuring prosperity now and for future generations. Uh, Chairman uh, Nakuru, you said you were here 54 years ago. Trust me, uh, even by that time, I don't know if I existed. But even for me, it's very nostalgic to be here Obviously, the ASK is one of the biggest events, especially the, I would say that the students look forward to and also the business community. So, and we are very proud to also be associated with it and to see how it has grown leaps and bounds from where we used to come and see it those days. So congratulations to the leadership of ASK and my regards to your leader at the national and all levels. As we march forward, we must keep sustainability at the forefront of our endeavors. As we tap into, into new markets, embrace technology and technological marvels, and expand our horizons, our actions today must echo our responsibility towards tomorrow. Our duty to cultivate a trade and agricultural sector flourishes not shortly but perennially. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, being, a, being in the leadership of the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, I have had the privilege to witness firsthand Kenyan entrepreneurs' tremendous potential and vigor. Events like this not only under t undermine, underline the virtual connections between agriculture and commerce, but also highlight the power of synergy between these two sectors. Through intersections, we find the promise of a prosperous future. ASK's partnership with the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce, Nairobi chapter, in mobilizing our members to attend the show, our members to exhibit their products, and our members to participate in panel discussions this showcases the power of unity in creating opportunities for all. We thank you for this partnership, and let's once again appreciate the ASK team for this opportunity. Our role in this partnership is not just in words, but in actions. We are here to support, facilitate, and contribute to success of events like this. Our commitment is unwavering as we continue to champion an environment where business of all sizes can thrive. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to reiterate the gratitude and appreciation of the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry to the Agricultural Society of Kenya for making such platforms a reality and for your solid partnership. We stand with you 
firmly committed to nurturing a thriving, sustainable, and globally competitive agricultural sector. Thank you to all the participants, and especially the exhibitors, for embracing the spirit of collaboration and progress. As we embark on this journey together, let us remember that the power of change lies within us. With unity, determination, and a shared vision, we can build a stronger and more prosperous business community. Let us embrace this fair with open hearts, open minds and open hearts. We inspire, may we inspire and be inspired and in unity pave the way for a resplendent Kenya. Thank you and may you have an enriching experience at the, national, at the Nairobi International Trade Fair 2023. God bless you and God bless Kenya. Asanteni. We can appreciate him once more. Thank you very much, our guest of honor, for that spreaded uh, information that you've given to us. Because now I'm seeing the sugar levels have gone down. Some people are dosing when the chair was giving the speech. So we would not want to fight with that anymore. We are giving you a break and this break will be for refreshment and then to bring your sugar levels up so that you can be able to ask questions that we are expecting to answer immediately after this. So the high tip will remain where it is so the guest of honor don't stand. They are at your service together with the team. Mr. Mureidi, our treasurer, I'm told you stay where you are. But the others will go ahead and stand up, go and uh, get served. So we will go systematically and we will move to both three and one. You can take up uh, the line to be served. So to put three and one, they can start. And then we can have some music to soothe us because we have been given a good message. Then I'll be calling the other tables as we move on. Then we have got table two and four. Table two and four. DJ, please give us some music. DJ, if you don't have, we will start screaming here, so don't please make us scream. And six, to go eight and six. Please join on the other side. We have two serving points, so you can join from the other side near the company name where we have the booth. To go eight and six should have gone. Table 11 and 20. 
Table 11 and 20. We have the other side of points at the other end. Table 22 and 23. Table 22 and 23. Please go ahead and serve yourselves. and 32, you can join the queue. It's about 30 and 32, you can join the queue. It's about 30 and 32, please join the queue. You can join the queue. Table 33 and 35. Join the queue. Join the queue. Table 36 and 38, you can join the queue.
Mako. Tables 36, 35, 38, 25, and 28. Please join the queue. Tables 35, 36, 38, 25, 28. This is a second call. Please join the queue. Ask. 
course, you will take them very fast uh, for the interest of time. So immediately, I see the queue completely short. We will start now with the questions, which will take a very short time. Same case to those who are online. You can prepare your questions or you can send them in advance so that we can have people to answer them. And we call upon the executive chairman to be ready to answer the questions that are going to be asked concerning their dockets. So members, prepare your questions online, send them, and we will have to answer all of them uh, quickly. Thank you.
now the queue is short. We will go to the next stage and before we start getting the questions, DJ, DJ, I know you're busy eating. Alright, thank you. So we are almost all served and we are now going to the next stage and before we get the questions, uh, our guest of honor, sir, we are going to present some gifts and Madam Neima will lead in that. So the next thing is presentation of gifts. Uh, we will be led by Madam Neima. If she's ready, we can proceed. I would call them here so that they, they can come here so that now whatever is on the table is not disturbed. So our guest of honor, that is presentation from Mandam Neymar. Receive it and we are glad that you came. Thank you very much, Dr. Migui. Receive it. Okay. We can start now with the chair. Thank you, our guest of honor. Thank you very much. We appreciate your presence. Then we go to Dr. Migui, representing the national chair. Thank you very much for your presence. We appreciate your Our Chief Steward, Mr. Levi Mweso, thank you very much for your presence. We appreciate your coming. Our Chairman Trent, Alvin, thank you very much for being with us and we appreciate your coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Madam Neymar, for that session. We will now go to the questions I had inquired whether we had some from online and uh, is there any? No. Now from the members of the floor, we want to get the questions and uh, we will answer them quickly. So if you have a question, you can put up your, yeah. You can put up your hand and then the mic will be brought where you are. And you know, as usual, I'll go very fast. I will have three calls. If by the third call you will not have asked, then I assume we are all satisfied. Members, do we have questions? Members, the second calling, do we have any question? Online, we don't have any. You know, yes, there is one. I was about to say either we taught very well or we did not teach anything. Yes, there is one there. Yeah, the mic is being brought. Identify yourself. You can stand up. Identify yourself and then you ask your question. Good evening, everyone. Good evening My to you. My name is Rose McKenna from Kenya. Thank you and very it's much. It's a very nice event. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was not a question, so we are not going to answer. But I believe 
the communication department has taken that one very seriously. Another question? Another concern? Do we have another concern? So it seems the questions were, I mean, the presentations were good, and you understood everything, and therefore you don't have anything to ask. But if you are shy, though are those people who don't to speak in front of people. There are those who hind, even in the class, they don't want to ask questions. Please, the chairman of departments were introduced to you. You can see them and ask the questions. If you feel, again, you don't want to see them, we have online platform that you can ask us questions. Don't shy away. Either come to us, face us, and if you cannot face us, then we have the online platform that you can contact us through, and we will be able to answer you all the time, and there are the lines which are 24 hours operational as we go towards the show time. Otherwise, at this juncture, because we don't have any other question, and I thank you very much for being with us and for listening and eating what we are providing. Our guest of honor, we are very hap happy for your presence, and we thank you, and you're most welcome. We now call upon Dr. Alice Ruto to give the vote of thanks as we continue biting. everyone. You can see here some, uh, some plates and some spoons, but uh, nevertheless, we want to say thank you. Asante sana. First, we want to thank God Almighty for making this day a success, for giving us the good, the gift of life, and making it a day that was bright. Remember yesterday there were some drizzles, so today we want to thank God for giving us a bright day and for giving us a day like this that we can enjoy his presence, enjoy the company of one another, and just say thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you very much, Chairman, for getting time to be with us for embracing us as a society and just being there for us. Thank you because Kenya National Chamber of Commerce has been a friend to ASK. We really appreciate that. We don't take it for granted. Thank you, the CEO, Mr. Bato Mutoka. Thank you for making Nairobi ASK your baby. Thank you for being with us and working with us. Sometimes we don't even regard you as being in the head office. You have really been part of ASK Nairobi branch. Yeah, the national chair represented by Dr. Mwigwi, thank you for getting time to be with us this afternoon. Thank you for working with us and wishing ASK a success because our success and is your success too. Thank you very much. And uh, to our own Mr. Joseph Mugo, thank you very much for your leadership, for your mentorship. We've grown because and the success of the show as a whole. Thank you, the Secretariat, for making this day a success. We really appreciate you. Thank you for, the, for everything, for the organization, for the food that we've eaten, 
and just by making the day bright and fruitful. Thank you the executive members who are here. Thank you for making time to be here. Thank you for through you that the stakeholders who are here are invited and they are present with us today. Thank you, Madam Betty and your team for making sure this day is, a, is successful for working tirelessly with your team. We don't take you that for granted. Thank you very much. May God bless you. And of course, to our exhibitors. Exhibitors, Hoye, Muko, thank you very much for, for agreeing to be here. Thank you for the accepting the invitation. Because sometimes you can invite people and they don't turn up. That becomes whose day? I don't know. So thank you very much. We really value you because the show is a show because of your presence. So we really appreciate you. Feel welcome. Feel part of this society. And we want to welcome you again next year. You remember we had a, a two-year break. So this is our second after COVID. And we want to believe that this year will be a year of a difference. We also want to appreciate those of you who have joined us online. And just as uh, Dr. Gitonga has said, we are still open online, so you can ask your questions and they will be answered. So to all of us, thank you for making ASK, making the Nairobi and ITF a place to be. May God bless and keep you. And uh, to the people who have fed us, thank you. The food was nice, and we look forward to being with you during the show. Mungu wa bariki na watende mema. Asante. Asante sana, Dr. Deruto. Kwa vile kilicho na mwanzo kina mwisho, sasa tunakalibia tamati ya hafla yetu. Na kabla tujafanya hivyo, ni lazima tumshukuru mwenyezi mungu. Na ataka yetu ongoza katika kazi hiyo fupi ni bwana Ken na Ken tunakuomba uje hapa mbele na ka, kabla hajaingia mbele nataka niwaambie kwamba ikiwa uko na rafiki yoyote ulio naye tuna matangazo mengi sana ya kibiashara ambayo tumeweka kwenye mitandao ya jamii na vile vile kwenye wafuti yetu tunaomba usambaze usiwe mchoyo sambaza kabisa baka watu wachoke na wewe manake tunataka watu wengi wawe kwenye maonyesho haya just spread ticket to every place let people know that we are there from 25th don't hide there are some people who can get the benefit from your spreading of the message and they want to know exactly what we are doing ukikosa kusambaza utachekwa ken where are you Asante sana Ken. Thank you so much MC. Uh, we want to pray and as the word of God commands us if you read from the book of Proverbs chapter 3 the author tells his son that my son remember God in all that you do so that it may prosper according to the holy will of God. So with that one well said I would like all of us to bow for a word of prayer. Let us pray. Mighty and everlasting Father, you are the sovereign Lord of Israel, the creator of heaven and earth. We acknowledge your mighty power, Jehovah, for you alone is worthy to be glorified in all the situations, Father. We want to thank you for the wonderful forum we have had today, Jehovah. All has taken your mighty power and authority that we may observe this day and this occasion, Jehovah. In all this, we honor you and we thank you, Father, for enabling us to see this far, Jehovah. Mighty God of Israel, as we are planning, your Father, to host the Nairobi International Trade Fair the year 2023, Jehovah, 
we commit every plan, everything that we are planning to do, we surrender it unto your mighty hand, that it may prosper according to your holy will, Jehovah. May you see us through in every plan that is going, is being, uh, is taking place, Jehovah, and even the shows that are ahead of, ahead of us, like we are having Mombasa International Show next week. We also have the Nyeri Show, and finally we will have the Kitale Show. All that is ahead of us, we commit it unto your mighty hand. We also commit our exhibitors unto your mighty hand that you may continue helping us, dear Father. We are here to work as a team for the well-being of the society and even for the success of this nation. We surrender our leadership and all the stakeholders unto your mighty hand. May you see us through, protect us as the society, protect this nation and protect all of us. Even now as we go back to our various places, may you watch over us and preserve us, O Jehovah. Above all, we glorify your name for everything. And it is in the most glorious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We do pray, thanksgiving, believing, and trusting. Amen. Thank you, Ken. And by the powers that have been conveyed to me by the executive committee, I now call our branch chairman to declare this meeting officially closed. Thank you very much. I think he's a very good organizer. Very good organizer. Very good Swahili. Kila kitu kwa keni bam bam. Natumeshukuru sana. I would like to thank him. And uh, I will not add or subtract anything. I want to wish you Safari Jema, wherever you came from. And we are happy and grateful to you that you found time to come and grace this occasion. Guest of honor, once again, we appreciate to all the chambers we are together and we want to work together like you are told we are members. And with those few words, I now declare this sitting officially closed. Thank you very much and God bless you and have a lovely evening. Thank you. Unaweza kujua marafiki zako na najua bandu hapa kuna mlo ya tuendelee tukiendelea na mambo mengine. Kwa hivyo sasa ni katika hali ya kuendelea vizuri. DJ tupe mziki. Let my guitar play, friend, to my request. Let him sing me back home with a song I used to hear. Make my old memories come alive. Take Last Sunday morning, a choir from off the stream came to sing a few old gospel songs, and I heard.